Hey comic book fans, welcome back to The Brave and the Boys. I'm your host Jake. As always, we have Jordan Manning the camera and today we have a different kind of video. It's going to be a little different than our usual reviews or reading lists. As you know, we're huge into collected editions and there's a couple awesome places to buy collected editions at. So we wanted to make a video comparing and contrasting the ordering experience of the different places. So the places we're going to be looking at are a local comic book store, Amazon, cheap graphic novels, in-stock trades, and even our partner, Organic Price Books. There are four criteria that we're going to be comparing. Ordering experience, price of the book, how long it takes to receive the book, and then the quality and the packaging when it arrives. So this is completely impartial. We have no control over these results. You know, I'm not even sure what, they, what they're going to be. I have some guesses, but I have no clue. So let's dive in and order some books. Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time, the Legion of Doom. Okay, guys, up first, we're going to search the Batman Who Laughs Deluxe Edition. Now that's the trade, the Batman Who Laughs. Here we go, the hardcover. $35.99 so it is a whopping four dollars off with free delivery tomorrow so I think that's gonna be some of the other websites so let's click buy now and I'll edit all the information and I'll make sure to use my girlfriend's credit card so this one's free just kidding the total is $38.78 place order Success, order placed, guys. Um, again, like I said, that's gonna be the easiest. I mean, everyone knows how to use Amazon. However, Amazon uh, tends to be a little rougher with books and a little more expensive. Okay, guys, next up is cheap graphic novels. Treat your shelf. Uh, let's go to this week's new releases. This week, oh, look, there's already the photo for it. Scroll down. Batman Who Laughs, $23.99, way better price. However, the thing with, uh, them okay we're gonna skip the 250 insurance we're gonna go straight to checkout uh, no matter how much you order on cheap graphic novels there is going to be a shipping charge so 7.99 for shipping that's that's fun um, that's gonna bring our total up to $33.84 yo glad I didn't show off all my paper PayPal information uh, we are going to place order and that means book number two is done. Again, I'm gonna edit out all this information so that you guys stop, uh, you can't, you know, I mean, if you wanna send me fan mail, that's fine, but I don't want any, you know, weird stalkers showing up. I don't think we're famous enough to have stalkers yet. So let's move on to Organic Price Books. This next up is Organic Price Books. Um, we are gonna search Batman Who Laughs, and we're gonna go to the Duck Deluxe Edition. Um, so it is 25% off. Um, we are going to add it to the cart. Go to checkout. Um, this would be where you could put your code in Brave Boys to save $2 on your order. Um, the only thing I'm going to check first is unlike cheap graphic novels, Organic Price Books gives you free shipping if you spend over 30 so it might actually be cheaper to uh not use that code so it looks like they're going to charge me six dollars for shipping let me see what happens if i take that code off now they offer the free shipping so that brings the price to 32.33 so we aren't going to be using our code today um, do remember though that if you are buying three or more books, you can use the code BRAVEBOYSSIT to uh, get 5% off your order. And this one, okay. Organic price books up. Um, so next up is going to be in stock trades. Uh, we're going to do something a little different though. We're going to switch to Jordan for this one. Um, and he will explain why. Hey guys, Brave Boy Jordan here. So I will be doing the purchase through in stock trades or IST for short. The reason being is this is going to be my copy of The Batman Who Laughs um, and I'm going to be adding an additional book and I'll go over the reason why. So right here on the home page we do see deals of the week. IST does offer special promotions every week so it does refresh. Uh, for the release week of The Batman Who Laughs they did add it on as their special promo. So you do see on there it says save up to 42% off on DC Comics. 
Right now it is 50% off, which we did see on all other websites that it's not going for retail price or recommended retail price, which is a benefit of buying online. So if I go here, I know it says one on in cart. I promise you I don't. I think it's because Jake had it in his cart previously, but this is my account. So what I'm gonna do is add one to cart. There we go. Batman who laughs, hardcover, added to my cart. If we do go there, we do see that it is $19.99 plus the shipping fee of $4. For EIST, they do offer free shipping if you spend $50 or more, which is a benefit of their website. Now for IST, I did want to add on one additional book, which, hey, you'll see this probably during the unboxing, but I did want to add I did want to add on a copy of the Invincible Compendium, which will push my order over the $50 mark to get the free shipping. Now, this would be up to you guys, so it might be worth it for you if you do add on a book that's either 50 or more or you're buying multiple books. So that is a benefit of their website. So if we look here, my subtotal is now $77.89, but free shipping. So this is a book I wanted. I've been wanting it for a long time. I'm actually going to be really nice and Jake's been wanting this version of the cover, so I'm gonna swap him for it. I should be charging him a little extra on the down low, but whatever. Sometimes you just gotta be a good friend. So check out. Here we go. Jake, blur, blur the stuff. I know it's your address, so if you don't, hey dude, <laughs> I hope you enjoy the fan mail you'll be getting. Let's go to billing. Jake, please, for the love of God, block out anything that shows my card number. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to have to put in the card myself. Um, hey, we'll come back here when I'm on the last page after I put in the information. Cool. Put in my credit card information. So now on this screen, it's just going to confirm our details. I did want to show that I am using the standard media shipping, which is now the free shipping. Otherwise, it would have been $4 because of my order. Um, I did want to go over. So my pricing is going to be $84.02. Now, because Jake is such a good friend, I'm going to have him go through this and he can put in the actual total if you weren't buying two books. This is just my excuse to buy a secondary book that I've been wanting for a long time. <laughs> so here we go. Let's submit our order. And there we go. Thank you for your order. You should receive an order confirmation. They are really good on giving their confirmations. I do get their emails pretty, pretty quickly and they're pretty good on updating me as well as far as like when my order has been shipped. Um, that's it for my segment of this video. We are going to switch back to Jake now.
This is the third comic book shop I've tried in Fullerton, and it's like the first one that I've enjoyed. Oh, I'm like, glad that we made a good first impression. It's it's hard because I primarily collect like collected collected editions. Like I'm a big Omnibus fan. Mm -hmm. That's like 90 percent of my collection. But yeah. um, I I went to the one by like the Costco and like the guy just plays video games while his wife rollerblades around, and they don't really don't really help that much. <laughs> I had to go there today because you guys didn't have Green Arrow. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's that other one that's just all Funko Pops. Thing. Oh, yes, Excelsior. Uh... Yeah, that one kind of felt <laughs> like they were just trying to get buck. Yeah, no, it's... I've... Yeah. We've had way too many people come in and be like, Excelsior. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, they're going out of business. Yeah. Like, so it's... Uh... <laughs> doing a video for my YouTube channel of many different places to buy collected editions from because we oh, recently nice. got sponsored by one of the online ones. Oh, wow. Uh, but I want to also put in the video, go to your local comic book shop. So I bought the same book from all the websites and comparing like how they were packaged, the quality, what I paid for them. Like I'm not doing it correctly. I can use. I can use it. I'm just getting up in your business for fun. All right, you're Thank all you so set. Much, no nice you. I hope to catch you around. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. And also, remember, free comic book day next week. Yeah, it's the sixth, right? Yeah. Also, yes. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, hope you had fun watching Jake from the past. We are filming this another day. So, as you guys remember, back on April 22nd. We went out to a comic book shop and also did some online purchasing. We ordered the same copy of The Batman Who Laughs Deluxe Edition from Amazon, Cheap Graphic Novels, our sponsor Organic Price Books, and In Stock Trades and ran a little experiment. So I'm going to walk you through the different pricing that we paid and how long it took to get everything. The comic book shop was the most expensive at $40, but I got it right away. It's actually not true. I had to go to two comic book shops because the first comic book shop I went to didn't have it, but the second one did and the owner there was super cool. It's called Comic Book Hideout. If you're ever in Fullerton, go check it out. Amazon arrived one day later. We paid $38.78. You feel the way this is like not packaged good at all. Uh, Cheap Graphic Novels arrived second. It took five days for Cheap Graphic Novels and we paid $33.84. Then Organic Price Books, which took six days, so it came one day later, and we paid $32.33, so a little bit cheaper. And then lastly, in stock trades, took eight days, which honestly isn't that bad. I remember back in the day, it was taking like two plus weeks for me to get in stock trades orders, but eight days. We did get this book a little bit cheaper because it was the deal of the week, so it's actually more expensive if you wanna buy it now. So in stock trades picks four or five books once a week and gives a little bit of a discount to them, so we paid in total $25.54. If you go to buy it now, it's about $30 for everything. So let's go through, look at the quality of everything and see how they are packaged. So this is the copy we got from Comic Book Hideout. Overall, looks pretty good. It's always weird paying cover price for a book. I really wish omnibuses and deluxe editions were things you could just go to the store and buy because that's so fun, but it's so hard to buy cover price. I can't remember the last time I paid any cover price for something. Um, Looks like there's some like inking or marking right here. We can do another shot where we zoom more into it. Uh, but overall, really good. Are we gonna debate the packaging? No, because it wasn't packaged. So let's gonna put this over here to the side. Man, any box cutter. And let's start breaking it in. It's an Amazon one, I have no faith. Do we, okay. Pause the video and go to the comments and vote if you think this box is gonna have zero packaging or like they put 1% effort into packaging. Wow, okay, so. We actually got a little bit of packaging. That's not bad. But 
Let's see. Let's look at this over. I think overall it's pretty good. Better than most Amazon. See, I think for a book like this, it doesn't make as big of a difference, but ordering an omnibus or two coming in something like this, like I've seen omnibuses with this amount of packaging or even less packaging. So trust me, Amazon, unless you can't find the book anywhere else, uh, it's better if you need the book right away, go to a comic book shop. Can't wait. I mean, Amazon, you're, just, you're rolling the dice. So there, that was pretty good. Now we move on to cheap graphic novels. I think the benefit of cheap graphic novels, at least for me, was they were the first website that I started doing pre-orders on. Sometimes they get those restocks in, but I just feel like it's, I, just, I don't like paying for shipping. I mean, all the other options give you free shipping if you order a certain amount or if you, but no matter what, you're always gonna be paying for shipping for cheap graphic novels. And I think Amazon just ruined it for shipping prices. There we go, that's what we like to see a little more. Let me get in there. See that's in there snug. Okay, so it looks like they made a bed out of this packaging paper and put this in a plastic bag. And it says thank you. How fun. This one looks in better condition than the other ones. Some of it's kind of hard to tell. You just have to look at the vibe of it, but that was much more packaged. That thing wasn't moving anywhere. This is what everyone wants, multiple copies of the same book. So yes, we probably will be doing a giveaway or two. We'll see. Okay, now we move on to in-stock trades. This one's heavier than the other ones because Jordan snuck on a book for me. He bought a copy of, we'll see actually, you probably saw him order it, so. Uh, we did trade though. I had the uh, other copy of Invincible and I wanted the other cover instead, so. So get a good shot of that in there. Insoc Trades loves to use these, these things. I prefer this over tissue paper, so this stuff, Super firm, holds everything into place. Don't like that the books were kind of stacked on top of each other. That's never something I'm a big fan of. This one, but we're not talking about this one, but a little bonus unboxing for you guys. Yeah, that cover looks, I'm gonna show it one more time. This cover looks way cooler than the other cover. And, drum roll. Another copy of the Batman Who Laughs. Um, again, no damage. So I'm just surprised the Amazon one didn't come damaged. I bought so many books from Amazon that have come damaged. And now we move on to organic price books. One thing that you're not gonna see on the other ones is you get little superhero stamps. I mean, that alone has to give them a bonus point or something. This has to probably be the only unboxing video for comics on YouTube where it's the same book. Okay, so we got nice tissue paper. Here we go. So already this packaging looks the best, but give me one second to cross out my address. If you guys want to send me fan mail, you gotta ask for my address. Okay, let's get in there and look at this packaging. Hands down the best. Look how much bubble wrap is on this, and this isn't even an omnibus. Also, how cute is this? They gave me a bookmark. I was hoping that, because we just opened up a Redbubble account, a little plug for our merch, so we can buy t-shirts, 
puzzles, shower curtains. I know Jordan wants to buy the Brave and the Boys shower curtain, but they don't have an option for bookmarks. I wanted to make Brave and the Boys bookmarks, but crazy. Okay, so tissue paper, box, bubble wrap. Why don't more people use bubble wrap? This thing is packaged like a tank. Okay, let's get a nice little glamour shot of all the books. Okay friends, I know looking inside the boxes was fun, but now we get to an even funner part, grading. So this isn't just my thoughts. Me and Jordan sat down, made a five tier point system and debated the ordering experience, price, speed, and quality. Quality is the quality of how it was packaged and how the book arrived. So we're gonna walk you through our thoughts. Now I wanna preface this by saying this stuff is variable. At the time when we order on April 22nd, this book was going for $30 on organic price books. Right now it's going for $25. So things change. Sometimes Iron Stock Trades has a book on their red tag sale and it goes for even cheaper. So we tried to keep these things strictly towards our April 22nd experience. So starting off with a comic shop, on a scale of one to five, the ordering experience, we're gonna give it a two. The thing is, it really just depends. We, uh, You might like the comic shop, you might like the experience of going to a comic book store, but I prefer online buying. For price, we have to give it a zero. It was cover price, not even a little bit of a discount. There was not even a promotion at the shop. For speed, normally it would be a five, we were torn on a three or a four. We had to give it a four. We did have to go to two shops. So the first shop we went to didn't have it. Uh, for quality, we're gonna give it a three. That could be a higher number. That could be a lower number. You get to see the book when you're at the shop, but you get what you get and you can't really return it or do any exchanges. So that gives it a total score of nine out of 20, which is an F, which is crazy because I did not think it would score that low. Moving on next, we have Amazon, which got a D. So for the ordering experience, it's a five. I mean, I went to the book, I clicked buy now with one click and it was here the next day. For price, it's a one. It was a $2 cheaper than cover price, you know? So not that good. Speed, it's a five. I, I gave it even higher than the comic book shop because even though it took the next day, I didn't have to leave and make multiple stops to get my book. For quality, I'm gonna give it a two. If you look here, I didn't notice it at first, but some of the plasticking is kind of already tearing a little bit and their packaging was piss poor. So that gives it a total score of 13 out of 20. I've bought books from Amazon before. If I really have to get a book for a review and I can't wait, sometimes they're kind of like my last option, but you're rolling the dice. I'm really surprised the book came without damage. Then we move on to cheap graphic novels. Cheap graphic novels got a C. And I think that's actually really fair. They are the most aggressively middle of the road option. So for the ordering experience, we gave it a four. It's really easy. I like that you can pre-order, which you can't do on some of the other websites. Price wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. We gave it a three for pricing. It was cheaper than buying it at a comic book shop or from Amazon, but it wasn't as cheap as our other online options. And then for speed, I was surprised they got a three. It was the first of the online ones, not Amazon to arrive. So I was impressed with that. And for quality, we're gonna, gonna, gonna give it a four. It was packaged really well. Um, no complaints with how it was packaged. So it gets a 14 out of 20, which is a C. In stock trades has the most variables of any of the websites. Sometimes the ordering experience is amazing. If it's the book of the week, you go to the homepage, it's right there, you can buy it. If it's not, Sometimes the book just disappears. Sometimes you're going through the damage section and you try to add a book and it doesn't go to your cart. So in stock trade, their ordering experience is kind of wonky depending on your experience. We gave it a three, it was middle of the road, nothing really to write home about. For price though, it was a five at the time. It has gone up off the sale of the week when it is actually cheaper on organic price books right now. For speed, it's gonna be a two. It took almost 
It took over a week to get the book. And for quality, we're gonna give it a three. It was packaged good. I, it's a little hard because it was the only one that had two books coming in at the same time. I did not like how the books were stacked on each other, on top of each other, and how they were like pushed to the bottom. They did have the nicer packaging stuff that holds it into place, but I think there should have been more in between the two books. So that gets a 13 out of 20, a D, which is weird for me because I usually skew more towards in-stock trades over cheap graphic novels. But I think with in-stock trades, you have to remember it's the most variable. Sometimes it's an A, sometimes it's a, a D or a C, but in-stock trades in this situation, I don't think was as good as cheap graphic novels. Lastly, we have Organic Price Books, which is our sponsor. We gave the ordering experience a four, so the same as cheap graphic novels, everything on the website is easily laid out, everything is clear, there's photos for everything. For the price, we gave it a four, it was the second cheapest, right under in stock trades. For speed, we gave it a three, the same score we gave cheap graphic novels, it arrived one day later, that's basically the same in the grand scheme of things. But for quality, I have to give it a five, I mean if you saw the video, it was packaged way better than the other ones, it was completely in bubble wrap, you got a little bookmark, so it gets a B. So to run you through one more time, our winner was Organic Price Books with 16 out of 20. Second place was Cheap Graphic Novels at 14 out of 20. IST was third place at 13 out of 20. Tying with Amazon at 13 out of 20. So these two got third place. And lastly, Comic Book Shop got fourth place. Again, these are all variables. Sometimes you're walking through a comic book shop and you find an out of print book. I just found an out of print Wolverine that I got to sell to someone in the Discord at cover price. You're not gonna find that on some of the other websites, you know? So it's really hit or miss. It would have scored higher had it been at the first shop that I went to. Organic Price Books I knew was gonna have the best packaging. In stock trades, usually their packaging is better, but I did not like how they packaged those two books. So at the end of the day, you kind of have to shop around. Sometimes in stock trades might be the best website. Other times cheap graphic novels is the best website. In this situation though, organic price books had the best packaging, the second best price. It was only a day later than cheap graphic novels and using things like their reward programs or our discount code brave boys to save $2 or brave boys sit to save 5% if you're shipping three or more books together actually would make it the cheapest. But this was a really fun experience. I mean, now I have five copies of a book that I've already read and own in single issues. So that kind of brings it to a close. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Where do you guys like to purchase books? Was there something I forgot? I mean, In Stock Trades has a sister website named DCBS where you can pre-order books. That would maybe bump it a little bit higher. You have to prepay. So there's pros and cons to that. I just couldn't buy a book that had already come out. But yeah, this was a fun experiment, guys. I, I really liked getting to see the differences of their packaging. I, it was kind of a fun race to see what was gonna arrive first or second or last. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This was kind of a different kind of video for us. It wasn't our regular book list or review, but I hope you guys learned from this. I hope you guys gained something from it. I wanna remind you to keep reading and stay brave. Wow, Jake's behind the camera for once. Hmm, maybe he'll like uh, this change of setup. So I did want to jump into here just to uh, kind of give my thoughts on it. I know I was in this video towards the very beginning ordering from IST, which was this one. Yeah, OPB IST. Um, as far as it goes, guys, I mean, there's a lot of factors and variables. And I really like that we were able to kind of see like shipping speed, how long it would take for us, as well as how well the books are packaged, which um, I've ordered from OBB a couple times previously. I did already know the packaging would be the best because I've seen their work previous. I thought IST would have rated a little bit higher and I know it was kind of skewed because we did have two books um, versus all the others with single package. So I guess it's not truly fair to IST that we did that, but they put it together. I wasn't a big fan that it was towards the very bottom of it, but it did have the best material surrounding it. So you guys decide for yourselves on what you thought on that. The comic book shop, I wanted to touch on that real quick just because it scored the lowest yet typically for me it's the most fun out of all of them one thing about this hobby or medium is that there is a central place that we can go in order to like check out new books talk to friends nerds whatever you want to call us at this point uh about stuff that's currently ongoing or favorite runs or things like that it gets you to come out into the community and really get to know each other i know this was the lowest one and i typically don't buy things like deluxe editions or omnibuses from comic book shop just because 
pricing plays a big factor for me. Comic Book Shop is the one I always look forward to, to going, just so I can talk to someone or see the books out there before I buy them, unlike everywhere else. So it really depends on you guys. I would love to hear your comments about this down below. I think Jake might have already done an outro for it, but hey, let us know out of everything and your viewpoint of this video, what you think. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, I want you guys to keep reading and stay bold. <laughs>